Popular Mario Maker 2 creator Rubber Ross made a super world a while back, and I thought I'd revisit one of the levels from it. To my surprise, I saw another popular Mario Maker 2 player, Lil Curbs, with the world record. Since it's fun to steal from your friends, I decided to take this world record from him. The level starts out very basic with Luigi going into a pipe to an underwater area. And here's where the main portion of the level is. We're being chased by a giant porcupuffer through a narrow pathway of spikes and dry bones fish. The interesting part is we're wearing a bullet bill mask under the water. I feel this is an unexplored part of the game, combining parts where you wouldn't really expect them. You can swim like normal but also hold the swim button to accelerate forward just like on land. It's a really fun level, I'd recommend checking it out. I decided to first just play through the level normally and see what kind of time I get, you know, to know what I'm working with. I managed to safely get through the water area and come out of the pipe with the flag waiting just to the right of me. My clear time? 33 seconds above the world record. I know I wasn't trying to go fast here, but I didn't expect to be that far off. There were a few things I knew could be faster though. There's a series of beat blocks underwater that swap from on and off every four seconds. If I use the bullet's acceleration more, I could make that cycle, potentially saving four seconds on each one of them. So I looked into avoiding the fish a bit more and found a very long stretch where I could accelerate without stopping, and I made it past the first beat block with the early cycle. However, this didn't change much. The second set of beat blocks were active when I got there, and there was just no way I was getting that early cycle as well. This attempt, my time was better, 25 seconds above world record, but there was just no way I could squeeze out 25 seconds from this water section. So I did what all Mario Maker players do, and I began to look for cheese. I can bring the bullet bill mask back through the pipe to use it in the previous area. I tried using it to climb the wall to the right, but no such luck. The ceiling was blocked off. Next, I tried taking a leap of faith to the right. Ross left a friendly message for everyone playing who does this. This showed some promise. I didn't really go for an optimal jump, and I was quite close to making it to the edge. Then I tried building up P-Speed to increase my jump height so I could start using the bullet bill later, and it worked great. I made it across the gap, then across one more gap, and there it was, the flagpole. Now my time was much closer to the world record, 21.37, less than one second away from world record. There's a few optimizations I already knew I could make. Instead of running to the pipe, you can do a long jump to reach max speed in the fastest way possible. Along with that, rolling into the pipe is faster than running or jumping to it. So if we combine these two things, we achieve the fastest possible pipe entry. The timing for the long jump will be important in this level too. Press it too early and you get a small long jump with low speed, but press it too late and you wasted time running that you didn't need to. You want to jump just before the sparks appear under your feet. You can see how much faster it is in this comparison. With this, I was now only 0.4 seconds away from the world record, getting closer. Not only is this method faster at the start of a level, it's faster at any point when you're moving from a stop. So when I come out of the pipe from the water area, I can do the same long jump method to save even more time. However, this introduced a problem. Now I didn't have P-Speed from running, so my jump was smaller. Along with that, the long jump placed me in an awkward position near the edge, but not close enough. I wasn't close to having the distance to make the gap. I tried long jumping then running to the edge, which was better, but still not quite it. After a few tries, I made it across by optimizing my edge jump and twirl. This gave a slight improvement, 0.35 seconds away from world record. There were two big issues with my current route though. The twirl to make the extra distance slows me down because twirling lowers your horizontal speed. And the running to the edge is slow because in 3D world you move slower on the ground compared to the air. I could solve the running part by doing a tiny hop after my long jump. It's very precise to get it off without slowing down, but it can be done. This saved a bit more time, under 0.3 seconds away now. Solving the twirl problem was a bit more tricky though. It felt like no matter what I did, I just couldn't make it without twirling. Then I had an idea. While the twirl does slow you down, what if I twirled at the start of the jump, then canceled the twirl by accelerating the bullet bill? This should give me a tiny bit of extra distance while not losing much speed, which is exactly what I need. So I combined all the previous optimizations with the new twirl cancel and it paid off big. 20.884 was my time, less than a tenth of a second away, around 5 frames from world record. I was so close. I figured I had everything I needed now, so I just needed to execute. However, every time I finished it just wasn't enough. 
and it felt like I was executing perfectly. Then I finally found the last optimization. The twirl cancel was good, but it still slowed me down slightly. I realized if I optimized the use of the bullet bill a bit more at the beginning of the jump, I could extend it ever so slightly, which was all I needed to cross the gap with no slowing down. Every piece of the puzzle was in place, and then I had this run. Twenty point seven seven nine seconds, one or maybe two frames faster than Lil Curb's world record. It was done. This level was so much fun to optimize because it required me to dig deep into my tricks I know about this game. It was pretty fun to slowly inch closer and closer towards it until finally achieving it. While the route to beating the level looks basic, it became almost like a puzzle to figure out how to achieve this time. I really enjoyed it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed.